How's it going, y'all? Appreciate y'all tuning in. <clears throat> I'm the Stone Mando. I got another X-Men 97 figure review, uh, review for y'all here today, and I'm going to be taking a look at Magneto. And he's definitely one of my favorite villains as far as the MCU is concerned and Marvel in general. Um, if you watched my Wolverine review, uh, that was actually my first Marvel Legends figure ever. And uh, definitely one of, my, one of my favorite, if not my favorite of all time, of Marvel characters. Um, he's up there with Thor and Hulk for me. And I just, um, really nostalgic seeing the reboot come back and seeing these figures starting to hit shelves again. It's making me feel like a kid and making me look back to when me and my brother would watch this on Saturday mornings and with a bowl of cereal and just kick it and chill all day. And, um, yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to get into this, but I'm gonna give this a little spin so y'all can check out the box. Really love this packaging. Uh, got an old school card back style to it. This shows you the other figures in the rave. You got... Wolverine, Storm, Rogue, Bishop, and Gambit, and um, oh, and um, dude, I seen uh Rogue, or I'm sorry, not Rogue. I want Rogue very, very badly, but I seen Bishop in, I think it was a Walmart the other day, a Walmart or Target. I think it was Walmart, and they had a matte finish on his on on just the skin, and then had like a shininess on the on his suit, like the figure itself, and it looked really good. But anyways, let me get back to Magneto, um. This is a very, very cool villain. This is one of my brother's favorite characters as well. And I actually remember him having a figure um, with this costume, the red and classic red and purple comic costume. So um, I'm going to go ahead and crack this thing open and we'll take a closer look at it. So I'm going to put Magneto on the flight stand just to get kind of give a idea of him levitating. And it, it looks freaking awesome, dude. Not usually a big fan of hard plastic for capes and stuff like that. But in this case, I think the way that it's molded and sculpted it, the folds of it looks good. The flow of it looks nice. It's It's got a really good flow to it, and it just works well with this figure. Um, really dig the purple and the red that they used for the, the color paint. It uh, looks really good. I like the kind of sh shininess on the helmet and the rest of the figure. It's got like a more of like a matte color, um, purple and red. And I just really like it. It's just a classic purple and red look of Magneto. And uh, he does come with alternate hands as well. He's got two... Um, kind of open force telepathic hands like he's using his powers and then he's got two fists as well um something that i wish star wars the black series would they, they do have alternate hands and stuff like that i just wish they would do more figures with alternate hands um this really helps for dynamic posing and uh certain if you want to do certain things for dioramas extra accessories stuff like that but i absolutely love the way this looks man So now that I've got kind of gotten a little closer look at the figure, I believe that this is actually a red plastic with purple paint. Now that I got a little bit more of a in-depth look at the figure, um, which is no big deal. That's a smart way. That's, that's less paint. So that means they're saving more money. But I do believe that most of this figure is actually um, red plastic with purple paint. And I'll give you all a closer look when I go over articulation and stuff like that. And this, I, I had to do this. It just looks so awesome. I had the flight stand out, and I just figured when I take my needle off, I was like, let me just see what, what it looks like with, with Wolverine on there real quick. Almost like he's holding him on, like Magneto's controlling him and stuff. Because he had, obviously, Adamantium, he, Magneto controls metal. Y'all know, y'all know. But, dude, the, these, uh, I love these figures, dude. They, they look sick, just so awesome. And I, I cannot stress enough how freaking happy I am that, x-men is getting a reboot especially the 97 um animated style series so i'm really looking forward to that man and just for the sake of scalability and y'all can see how they look next to each other these are the only two marvel legends figures i have so here you go magneto and wolverine looking freaking badass man this is the overall look at them this is what i was saying about this kind of was my indicator that this was red plastic with purple paint. So pretty nicely nicely applied, pretty clean. Make the figure also. Really like the flow of the cape, it looks very nice. There we go. Oh, what are we doing? What are we doing, camera? There we go. And see what I was saying about Kind of got this very shiny, glossy paint on the helmet here, but 
then it got kind of this matte color on the on the on his suit itself. And I love I love this gesture hand. It looks really good. Very nice sculpt. Get a little zoom in on this. Just a very very nice sculpt. I feel like hands can be easy to mess up, in a sense. But these look really nice. And here's the fist here. So you do get two fists and two open hand gestures and got a pretty nice uh, single joint here. He can, they can also go around 360 degrees. So not that you'll be doing that. You get a nice T position out of him. Let me get this camera focused again. We'll lay it in the, hit in the pose body building pose hey look at that there, there you go that's that kind of spread his legs there you go but so do have two horizontal hinges got one on the right hand here one on the left hand here and like i said full t position no problem get you can get below 90 yeah way below 90 on uh damn one thing that gets her in his way is his bicep right there but you can get way below 90 with these with these elbows so that's some really nice that's how you can get this really nice look here he's got to kind of fidget with these shoulder joints in here turn that in here and then you can I had it perfect earlier, but you 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 kind of get the gist. You get what I'm going for. And I like I like the kind of the dark paint around the, that black paint around the eyes. The eyes are cleanly applied too. Didn't realize Magneto had blue eyes, but that looks really nice. Some kind of nice uh like a like a glossy, sparkly purple around the trim of the helmet looks really very nice. Goes all the way about. I like that shiny red on the helmet too. So really good articulation with this figure, man. A lot of ab crunch too. This figure has freaky ab crunch. So that's that's leaning back. That's hunched forward. So coming from the Black Series, I'm, I'm a Black Series collector. And I'm not used to articulation, especially in the dot, like a diaphragm articulation like that. Do have thigh swivel, which I very much like. I'm a, I'm a fan of. I love that in the Black Series. Uh, pinless double jointed knees trying to is this oh no that's about it. okay well they look like they're double jointed it looks like see it looks like it wants to open up right here too but i can just get it right to 90 because his calf starts hitting his hamstrings here but feet do go down quite a bit and go that far down you can get that far up and there are rockers. As far as splits go, he can get some good splits too. He can kick out perfectly straight in front of him. And he's got a little bit of kickback, not a lot, about right there. But kick out really far, good splits. So I, I guess these are double jointed knees. It looks like double jointed knees, but they don't. You just can't really, just due to the sculpt, you can't really utilize it as much. See, there we go. See what I'm saying? How the, it got this, it's two joints, one above the knee and then one below the knee. So, there we go. That's what I was trying to do earlier. Look at that, way below 90. That's what I'm talking about. Couldn't get, couldn't get this one to, I guess his, I guess his knee's just stiff on this one, but way below 90. That's the good thing about these, uh, Double joints. No pins either. Looks really nice. Very clean figure, man. But yeah, man. That's that's Magneto. Looks awesome, dude. Super stoked to finally have him. And really looking forward to getting the rest of the, the X-Men team fleshed out. And one more thing. His cape is actually fastened down in the front here. Kind of see where it attaches to his chest right here. 
and you actually have this see the little peg right here that i guess that, that not a guess but it does it plugs into his bag this is just, just a i guess just to keep the cape stable so just keep that yeah that's so you can get some pretty cool flight poses if you wanted to or like get some wind going or something like that it's pretty cool I could definitely see somebody redoing this with a wired cape. I, be, I believe that. I bet that would look absolutely phenomenal. All right, y'all. That wraps it up for this review. I appreciate y'all tuning in. And, uh, you know, I, I don't have any other Marvel Legends figures, so I can't compare it and say what's better or what's worse, especially as far as other Magneto figures go. But um, as a figure collector, a toy collector, I can say that this is an awesome toy. Um, the likeness to the cartoon is incredible. It's exactly as I remember, to my memory. Um, love my Wolverine figure. That's, like I said earlier, one, one of my favorite characters all time in Marvel. And uh, just an absolutely awesome figure, dude. It, it's very stunning to look at. And just very well done, man. I, I enjoy the articulation. It's a little bit different than the Black Series. Um, they don't do quite as much work trying to hide the joints and make it kind of seamless like the Black Series does. And in essence, you can kind of get some uh, some better articulation. Now, I'm not saying there's, there, there, I'm not saying there's not any Black Series figures that wouldn't give this figure competition. I'm just saying that, as far as me coming from a strict Black Series side of things, this figure is awesome. Very good articulation, um, absolutely awesome. The, the last time I've had a, a figure with this much articulation, I think it was like a, a Spider-Man figure that I had years and years ago, man. Um, Cause you know you can't have a not you can't have a stiff Spider Man like that's just that's that's unreal that's unruly, but I do appreciate y'all watching. I hope you enjoy my review. Um, like I said, looking really forward to getting the rest of the X Men team together, and just just enjoying the process of, of getting them, man. And this is a pretty cool wave, and I see my, I see myself getting into a little bit more Marvel Legends in the future. But I do appreciate y'all watching. I do a lot more Black Series Star Wars based content, but. Just with the reboot for X-Men coming, I, I just ha I had to jump on it, man. I just, I'm so stoked. And just a tubular show, man. And I have incredible memories, very fond memories that are just very close to me. And just super stoked to see the X-Men coming back out. And because I, I was always more of an X-Men kid growing up, man. You know, the Avengers are cool, but the X-Men is, is the team, dude. They're just ultimate, man. But I hope y'all all having a good day or night whenever you're watching this. Like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And may the force be with you. That's kind of weird saying this, reviewing <laughs> reviewing an X-Men figure. I guess I should say, uh, to me, my X-Men or something like that. But uh, I hope you have a good one.